Brought to you by wikivd.com Tardigrade Tardigrades are water-dwelling eight-legged segmented micro-animals. They were first discovered by the German zoologist Johann Augusti Freyem Goes in 1773. The name Tardigrada was given three years later by the Italian biologist Lazzaro Sporlanzani. They have been found everywhere, from mountaintops to the deep sea iron mud volcanoes, from tropical rainforests to the Antarctic. Tardigrades are one of the most resilient animals known. Individual species of tardigrades can survive extreme conditions that would be rapidly fatal to nearly all other known life forms including complete global mass extinction events due to astrophysical events such as supernovae gamma ray bursts or large meteorite impacts. Some tardigrades can withstand temperatures down to 1 K while others can withstand 420 K. For several minutes pressures about six times greater than those found in the deepest ocean trench is ionizing radiation at doses hundreds of times higher than the lethal dose for a human and the vacuum of outer space. They can go without food or water for more than 30 years drying out to the point where they are 3% or less water only to rehydrate, forage and reproduce. Tardigrades living in harsh conditions undergo an annual process of cyclomorphosis. They are not considered extremophilic because they are not adapted to exploit these conditions. This means that their chances of dying increase the longer they are exposed to the extreme environments whereas true extremophiles thrive in a physically or geochemically extreme environment that would harm most other organisms. Usually, tardigrades are about 0.5 mm long when they are fully grown. They are short and plump, with four pairs of legs each with four to eight claws also known as discs. The first three pairs of legs are directed ventrolaterally and are the primary means of locomotion while the fourth pair is directed posteriorly on the terminal segment of the trunk and is used primarily for grasping the substrate. Tardigrades are prevalent in mosses and lichens and feed on plant cells, algae and small invertebrates. When collected, they may be viewed under a very low power microscope making them accessible to students and amateur scientists. Tardigrades form the phylum Tardigrada part of the superphylum Ecdysis. It is an ancient group with fossils dating from 530 million years ago in the Cambrian period. About 1,150 species of tardigrades have been described. Tardigrades can be found throughout the world from the Himalayas to the deep sea and from the polar regions to the equator. Description Johann August Ephraim Goes originally named the tardigrade Kleiner Wasserbar meaning little water bear in German. The name Tardigrade means slow walker and was given by Lazzaro Sporlanzani in 1776. The name water bear comes from the way they walk, reminiscent of a bear's gait. The biggest adults may reach a body length of 1.5 mm the smallest below 0.1 mm. Newly hatched tardigrades may be smaller than 0.05 mm. The most convenient place to find tardigrades is on lichens and mosses. Other environments are dunes, beaches, soil and marine or freshwater sediments, where they may occur quite frequently. Tardigrades in the case of echinoscoids yfe, may be found on barnacles. Often tardigrades can be found by soaking a piece of moss in water. Anatomy and morphology Tardigrades have barrel-shaped bodies with four pairs of stubby legs. Most range from 0.3 to in length although the largest species are may reach 1.2 mm. The body consists of a head, three body segments with a pair of legs each and a caudal segment with the fourth pair of legs. The legs are without joints while the feet have four to eight claws each. 
The cuticle contains chitin and protein and is molted periodically. All adult tardigrades of the same species have the same number of cells. Some species have as many as 40,000 cells in each adult while others have far fewer. The body cavity consists of a hemocoel but the only place where a true coelom can be found is around the gonad. No respiratory organs are found, with gas exchange able to occur across the whole of the body. Some tardigrades have three tubular glands associated with the rectum. These may be excretory organs similar to the malpighian tubules of arthropods. Although the details remain unclear, the tubular mouth is armed with stylets which are used to pierce the plant cells algae are small invertebrates on which the tardigrades feed, releasing the body fluids or cell contents. The mouth opens into a triradiate muscular, sucking pharynx. The stylets are lost when the animal molts and a new pair is secreted from a pair of glands that lie on either side of the mouth. The pharynx connects to a short esophagus and then to an intestine that occupies much of the length of the body, which is the main site of digestion. The intestine opens via a short rectum to an anus located at the terminal end of the body. Some species only defecate when they molt, leaving the feces behind with a shed cuticle. The brain develops in a bilaterally symmetric pattern. The brain includes multiple lobes, mostly consisting of three bilaterally paired clusters of neurons. The brain is attached to a large ganglion below the esophagus, from which a double ventral nerve cord runs the length of the body. The cord possesses one ganglion per segment, each of which produces lateral nerve fibers that run into the limbs. Many species possess a pair of rhabdomeric pigment cup eyes, and numerous sensory bristles are on the head and body. Tardigrades all possess a buccopharyngeal apparatus which along with a clause is used to differentiate among species. Reproduction Although some species are parthenogenic, both males and females are usually present each with a single gonad located above the intestine. Two ducts run from the testis in males, opening through a single pore in front of the anus. In contrast, females have a single duct opening either just above the anus or directly into the rectum, which thus forms a cloaca. Tardigrades are oviparous and fertilization is usually external. Mating occurs during the molt with the eggs being laid inside the shed cuticle of the female and then covered with sperm. A few species have internal fertilization, with mating occurring before the female fully sheds her cuticle. In most cases, the eggs are left inside the shed cuticle to develop but some species attach them to nearby substrate. The eggs hatch after no more than 14 days, with the young already possessing their full complement of adult cells. Growth to the adult size therefore occurs by enlargement of the individual cells rather than by cell division. Tardigrades may molt up to 12 times. Ecology and Life History most tardigrades are phytophagous or bacteriophagous, but some are carnivorous, to the extent of eating other smaller species of tardigrades. Tardigrades share morphological characteristics with many species that differ largely by class. Biologists have a difficult time finding verification among tardigrade species. Because of this relationship, these animals are most closely related to the early evolution of arthropods. Tardigrade fossils go as far back as the Cretaceous period in North America. This specific species is considered cosmopolitan and can be located in regions all over the world. The eggs and cysts of tardigrades are so resistant to other dangers that they are carried great distances on the feet of other animals to a different location. Physiology Scientists have reported tardigrades in hot springs on top of the Himalayas. 
under layers of solid ice and in ocean sediments. Many species can be found in milder environments such as lakes, ponds and meadows, while others can be found in stone walls and roofs. Tardigrades are most common in moist environments but can stay active wherever they can retain at least some moisture. Tardigrades are one of the few groups of species that are capable of suspending their metabolism. Many species of tardigrade can survive in a dehydrated state up to five years, or in exceptional cases longer. Depending on the environment, they may enter this state via anhydrobiosis, cryobiosis, osmobiosis or anoxybiosis. While in this state their metabolism lowers to less than 0.01% of normal, and their water content can drop to 1% of normal. Their ability to remain desiccated, for such long periods was thought to be largely dependent on the high levels of the non-reducing sugar trihalulose, which protects their membranes, though recent research suggests that tardigrades have a unique type of disordered protein that serves a similar purpose, it replaces water in the cells and adopts a glassy vitrified state. When the animals dry out, their DNA is further protected from radiation by a protein called DSUP. In this cryptobiotic state the tardigrade is known as a tun. Tardigrades are able to survive in extreme environments that would kill almost any other animal. Extremes at which tardigrades can survive include those of irradiation of tardigrade eggs collected directly from a natural substrate showed a clear dose-related response, with a steep decline in hatchability at doses up to 4 kg above which no eggs hatched. The eggs were more tolerant to radiation late in development. No eggs are radiated. At the early developmental stage hatched and only one egg at middle stage hatched. While eggs are radiated in the late stage hatch at a rate indistinguishable from controls. Taxonomy Scientists have conducted morphological and molecular studies to understand how tardigrades relate to other lineages of ectisozoan animals. Two plausible placements have been proposed tardigrades are either most closely related to Arthropoda plus or minus Onychophora or tardigrades are most closely related to nematodes. Evidence for the former is a common result of morphological studies. Evidence of the latter is found in some molecular analyses. The latter hypothesis has been rejected by recent Microna and Express sequence tag analyses. Apparently the grouping of tardigrades with nematodes found in a number of molecular studies is a long branch attraction artifact. Within the arthropod group three patterns of relationship are possible tardigrade sister to Onychophora plus arthropods, Onychophora sister to tardigrades plus arthropods, and Onychophora sister to tardigrades. Recent analyses indicate that the panarthropoda group is monophyletic, and that tardigrades are a sister group of Lobopodia, the lineage consisting of arthropods and Onychophora. The minute sizes of tardigrades and their membranous integuments make their fossilization both difficult to detect and highly unusual. The only known fossil specimens are those from mid-Cambrian deposits in Siberia and a few rare specimens from Cretaceous amber. The Siberian tardigrade fossils differ from living tardigrades in several ways. They have three pairs of legs rather than four. They have a simplified head morphology and they have no posterior head appendages but they share with modern tardigrades their columnar cuticle construction. Scientists think they represent a stem group of living tardigrades. Rare specimens in Cretaceous amber have been found in two North American locations. Milnesium Swolensky from New Jersey is the older of the two, its claws and mouth ports are indistinguishable from the living M. tardigradum. The other specimens, 
from Amber from Western Canada some 15-20 million years earlier than M. Swolensky. One of the two specimens from Canada has been given its own genus and family Bjorn Leggy, however, it bears a strong resemblance to many living specimens in the family Hypsobiidae. Our Ishiaia, from the Middle Cambrian Burgess Shale has been proposed as a sister taxon to an arthropod tardigrade clade. Tardigrades have been proposed to be among the closest living relatives of the Burgess Shale Oddity Opabenia. Genomes and Genome Sequencing Tardigrade genomes vary in size from about 75 to 800 megabase pairs of DNA. Hypsobius du Jardini has a compact genome and a generation time of about two weeks. It can be cultured indefinitely and cryopreserved. The genome of Ramazartius vera ornatus, one of the most stress-tolerant species of tardigrades was sequenced by a team of researchers from the University of Tokyo in 2015. Analysis revealed less then 1.2% of its genes were the result of horizontal gene transfer. They also found evidence of a loss of gene pathways that are known to promote damage due to stress. This study also found a high expression of novel tardigrade unique proteins, including damage suppressor which was shown to protect against DNA damage from X-ray radiation. The same team applied the DSUP protein to human cultured cells and found that it suppressed X-ray damage to the human cells by approximately 40%. Ecological importance Many organisms that live in aquatic environments feed on species such as nematodes, tardigrades, bacteria, algae, mites, and columbolins. Tardigrades work as pioneer species, by inhabiting new developing environments in which to live. This movement attracts other invertebrates to populate that space while also attracting predators. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?